Hey, what's up, Running Village? Merry Christmas. It's almost here. This is the Scott MK3 that I did a first impressions on, and I, I have plenty of data here for you, and I wanted to do a main review of it. What I want you to really look at inside here is under this kind of glass cased uh, or plastic, clear plastic casing, there's a carbon fiber uh, foot plate in there that what they're doing with that is starting to add, because it's a lightweight stability shoe, they're starting to add a little more structure, a little more stability with this shoe by using that carbon fiber, but it decreases the weight, so they're really still allowing this to be a lightweight trainer or a, or a racer. I couldn't really do more than one or two days in these and then a break into something else or else it started to feel like it was bruising my arch a little bit. And what I found eventually was I did a couple days in a row too long, too far, uh, maybe, maybe too too hard as well and kind of bruised my foot a little bit so I talked to the guys at Scott and they said that that uh, you know it's one of those shoes where some people that really need a lot of support might do really well in this because it is aggressive so if they've been in something pretty aggressive instability this would actually kind of fit that mold in a lightweight package and that I could get to I've decreased how much support I've been wearing the last couple years and so this just hit me a little harder than I wanted it to. So that being said, what they did tell me is that the MK3 is getting an overhaul in this next year and they're getting rid of the carbon plate and going into the fiberglass uh, rubber mixture that they're putting in all their lightweight trainers and regular high mileage trainers as well. And so that Scott E-Ride support that I trained in, they're moving in to the MK3, that type of support system. So it should be a little less aggressive on the foot, but still give you nice, nice uh, stability and still be pretty lightweight. So that's an update that's coming. So I just kind of want to talk to you about this. If you see it out and you have an MK3 available to you, you know, uh, ease into it, make sure your foot's going to get used to it, or use it one day a week for something fast and another day a week for something short and quick with the update coming next year where they're changing it over to the e-ride support system for stability in the mk3 i think it's going to be a an update that uh, more people can get into and enjoy without making sure it's kind of a niche shoe right now i feel like it is a niche shoe and you need to make sure it's the right shoe for you if you're going to get it so